state deadly vaccines enhance the powers of the federal surveillance state. Let's face it, the United States government has become the evil empire in the world. The United States government has become the great Satan that many have called it. What even is our main export? We have our embassies and consulates all across the world. They wave the flag of what? Transsexuals, Black Lives Matter, the gay pride flag. You know, being an American used to mean something, and now it means all this crap. And it's a shame. You take a look at China. I hear Fox News and conservatives talk all the time about the chai -coms, the chai -coms, Chinese social credit system. Have you taken a look at what Google and Facebook are trying to do? Social credit system. And now they're going on about Russia and Vladimir Putin is Hitler. And they say that's not a good thing. And <laughs> I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> I, I shouldn't have said that. But what other way is there to say it? Of course we know that's a terrible comparison. Um, when we do take back our God-given rights, we will bring these criminals to justice. I've said we need to build more galleries. If we try some of these high-level criminals, convict them, and use a newly built set of galleries, it'll make an example of these traitors who betrayed the country. They have yet to be justly punished for the crimes they've committed. Nick and the other patriots in attendance at AFPAC, please keep doing what you are doing. I admire you, and I so appreciate how you never give up. We need more strong Americans like you who never back down. We must always put our shoulder to the wheel to move the Overton window toward Christ America first. The speaker just before me, I don't know if he's still around, but he has some good points. <laughs> I have the reputation of being the biggest racist in the country. Think of that. So, so, well, I, I hate to, I hate to, what are you clapping for, that I am or I'm not? So, And you want to know the secret, uh, to borrow a phrase from a friend of mine, our secret sauce here, it's these young white men. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we call the secret ingredient. America and the world has forgotten about them, but not us. You know, they say about America, they say, diversity is our strength, you know. And I look at China, and I look at Russia, who, can we give a round of applause for Russia? Yes. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, but I take a look around. Roy Burke, Roy Burke, Roy Burke, Roy Burke, Roy Burke, Roy Burke. That's right, that's how it all started, right? Three years ago, the Groyper chant, yes. Um, a thousand people. We are joined tonight by nine current or former government officials. Can you believe that? And you know something, I think I saw this online earlier today, CPAC which is our rival conference across the way. Who even cares anymore? Who even cares about, yeah, thank you, who even cares? It took CPAC 30 years to hit 1,000 people. It took us only three. Three years. And so it started out three years ago in a small hotel conference room with 100 people, and 
two speakers, only two speakers at our first AFPAC, no more <laughs> and no less, has now blossomed into what I think is actually the preeminent right-wing political movement in America today. My name is Marjorie Taylor Greene. I am the daughter of the King, the one true living God, the Alpha, the Omega, our Father in Heaven, and I am a forgiven sinner washed in the blood of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Praise God. Amen. Christ is But big tech, who is totally integrated with our United States government, decided that my tweets were misinformation. And so the propaganda machine, the propaganda machine took over and they deleted my account. But all I know many of you in this room knows exactly what that feels like because you know what it's like to be canceled. And that's why I'm here to talk to you tonight. I don't believe anyone should be canceled. Fighting amongst our own ranks because there are too many re Republicans who do not exhibit the courage that is needed today for us to, to fight to protect our freedoms and our liberties. We are literally in a fight for our lives. And so I thank you all for your efforts. I thank you for joining our efforts. And together we will fight to make Idaho great again.